Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer and specifically we're going to be talking about the next generation AAF uh, math AccuPlacer and that stands for Advanced Algebra and Functions. So um, if you're watching this video, I assume that you're going to be taking this particular AccuPlacer. There's all different types of AccuPlacers and other type of placement um, assessments that you can take for college, but AccuPlacer is a very uh, reputable and widely used uh, exam. So it's definitely worth your time to study for the AccuPlacer because if you uh, place into the highest level of your potential and you know background on what mathematics you've taken, you're going to save yourself time and money. I like to kind of look at it this way. So let's say there's for your your college or your your program of study that the most basic math course that's called math 101 but you can really you know you really need to start taking math 300 in order to get into the program that you want to study for okay now if you you know don't do well on this uh, particular AccuPlacer you might end up taking this class here which could be one semester or maybe a year long well this is, uh, you know, financially, it costs money to take this class, but it costs time as well, a tremendous amount of time, maybe a semester or two to go through a class that you maybe really didn't, didn't need to take because your, you know, your background really should have landed you into this higher level class at Math 300. Okay, so you want to place into the highest level math class for your abilities, but I think a lot of students, um, assume automatically oh well you know in high school I took algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, pre-calculus, I did great in pre-calculus, I got A's in all my tests. Hey that's great but guess what that really doesn't mean anything uh, when you take the AccuPlacer unless you do the following and that's what we're going to talk about uh, this particular uh, video. I'm just going to highlight some things you want to be uh, thinking about when you take or you study for the AccuPlacer Next Generation AAF test. Now, my background, again, I'm a math teacher. I actually con uh, constructed a very good course uh, for the Next Generation uh, Advanced Algebra Functions AccuPlacer. I'm going to leave the link um, to that course in the description of this video. You can check it out if you like. Also, um, I literally have hundreds of videos that can help you prepare uh, for the AccuPlacer, all the various AccuPlacers in terms of the mathematics. So um, hopefully you'll consider subscribing to my channel. But with that being said, let's get into this video. So how do you do great on the AccuPlacer uh, Next Gen um, Advanced Algebra Functions Test? Now, first of all, you got to respect the title, okay? Advanced Algebra and Functions, okay? So Advanced Algebra means it's more than just Algebra 1, okay? It means for sure Algebra 2 and definitely concepts, in, Algebra concepts into pre-algebra, um, okay? I'm sorry, pre-calculus. So, you know, these are fairly sophisticated uh, topics, so you've got to know your stuff. And uh, trust me, as a teacher, there's a, plenty of students who can do, get good grades in their class because they're taking a test. Let's take pre-calculus, right? They're taking a test one chapter at a time, typically. So this chapter, all they're focused on here is, let's say, systems of equations, okay? So they're, they're focused only on systems. They're going to uh, take a test on, on, on this chapter, and they do well. They get 95%, and they're happy with it. And then they move on to the next um, concept okay being taught let's say maybe it's oh quadratic functions or whatever the case might be and the same thing applies you're studying kind of i would say in a vacuum but you're studying only specifically for that one chapter at a time now this acuplacer okay it's a placement assessment well you got to be you know thinking about all of this all right so just because you're you're a good test taker and i don't want to diminish that by the way if you're able to do well in these tests that's definitely good you know, uh, very good, but it's your ability to retain, okay? Retention, true retention of this material only comes through um, mostly if you really understand it. Again, that sounds kind of like obvious, but if you really understand something, you're going to retain it. And I've seen plenty of students who've been able to kind of test well, but they didn't really kind of understand it. They just studied really hard and just use a lot of, you know, 
muscle memory and rote memorization and flashcards just to do whatever they can to get a good grade. And that's respectable as well, but that's not going to be as beneficial to you uh, for sure on, on a test or an assessment like the Accuplacer. Okay. So again, if that's your kind of your style of studying where you like, you know, go through with a bunch of flashcards and stuff, eh, you know, you want to try to move away from that and focus on true understanding. So the first thing I would want to, to kind of, um, uh, think about when you're, you're studying for the Accuplacer AAF is to review, obviously, but review with the kind of the spirit or the intention of truly understanding, okay? Understanding, not, not to review for review's sake. And that's kind of a fine line. You're like, oh, well, yeah, I can be reviewing, um, going through my notes and all this other stuff just to kind of brush up and try to brush up, up on, my, on my memory in terms of the math that you previously learned. But try to look at math in a sense that, hey, I, want, I need to really kind of understand this, this, uh, this skill. You know, I need to understand this concept, okay? Because if you can do that, that's going to not only serve you well on the, on the Accuplacer, but, you know, future math courses as well. And so if you're going to be doing the advanced algebra function um, assessment here, chances are you're going to, you know, be taking some pretty sophisticated math uh, in college, right? Probably many of you are going to be going on to calculus and you just, you know, it's, it's very difficult to try to do well, let's say, in a course like calculus by just, you know, using flashcards or without really kind of understanding the concepts is, is kind of what I'm getting at. So if you were that student in high school that, you know, just kind of like looked at math as, okay, I'm just going to just, you know, do what I got to do real quick just to do well on a test. Well, try to change your philosophy again in terms of, all right, let me really try to understand this stuff. Okay. All right. So the second thing that I would kind of stress, and this again, it might be kind of obvious uh, to you is really more practice, more practice problems. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Let's take a concept, let's say like systems. Just because you do, you can do a few systems problems, you practice, you know, okay, I can solve this uh, problem, I can solve this problem. That's not generally uh, indicative enough of like your readiness for that particular skill, okay? You, you really need to challenge yourself with a lot more variety, you know, of problems to really feel good about, um, you know, your understanding of a particular math skill, okay? A lot of students kind of get this self, uh, What's it with this kind of false sense of security? But say, okay, let me see, I could do this prom. They might not even do the prom. They'll look at a prom. They'll say, oh yeah, I know how to do that. I know how to do this. But they haven't even tested their ability to actually check their understanding. But I'm going to tell you right now, math is a skill. It's a language um, as well. And the only way you get good at, let's say, speaking Spanish or or you know any skill, playing a guitar, is to do it a lot. <laughs> okay, you need to do a lot of math practice, but before you go practice, okay, you need to kind of learn and review. That's what I've done in, in my particular uh, course, my Accuplacer Advanced Algebra uh, Functions course. It's a tremendous amount of learning and review. Now, of course, in my uh, uh, current course, my, my next gen uh, AAF course, there's 23 chapters of material. And then I keep revising and improving these courses, but 23 chapters, no way you're going to be able to learn all th uh, 23 chapters. You have to go in and basically assess, hey, what do you know and what don't you know? Okay. So it, you got to really think this stuff through. Okay. To, you got to get yourself organized. But if you have a good, organized, efficient plan, Okay, you don't have to try to relearn everything you learn, you know, you studied in high school because that's just not practical, right? You can't take, you know, each one of these books, these textbooks, and then reconstruct, let's say, four years of learning um, in four weeks or four months, right? So it's not practical. However, what you need to do is to assess what you know, what you don't, what you don't know, and then, you know, have a logical approach. But again, is it worth doing all this? It's like, ah, is it just easier just to take the Accuplacer and just, you know, do a quick review and then hopefully you kind of land into the right course? Yeah, you might get lucky enough to do that. But either way you slice it, okay, you're going to need your, you're going to need your math skills, okay? If you get into, let's say you do land into the higher level math course, 
you don't want to be that person that comes into it unprepared. Like you just minimally got into the course and now the teacher's like, okay, hey, we're right off to the, you know, we're doing, you know, pretty advanced math because the expectation, especially in college, is you're already coming in the door with these math skills. It's not like high school where, you know, the teacher will spend, you know, some time reviewing, assuming that students kind of forgot a lot of material. In college, it's like, hey, we're not, you know, we're, we're moving forward, okay? You're supposed to come in the door with this material. So in some ways, if you're not ready, you're better off going into, you know, a lower level class just to kind of bolster up and strengthen your material. But again, I think the whole uh, purpose of this video is just to respect the level of math um, that's going to be on uh, this particular AccuPlacer, okay, and really approach it with the spirit of, you know, understanding, okay, math for what it actually is, not just passing the test, if you will, and again, the more practice problems you can do, the better off you're going to be. So let's go and wrap this video up, and uh, one more time, you know, if you like my teaching style, and you can check out a lot of my videos again on my YouTube channel, um, but if you want to just check out uh, my course, my AccuPlacer Next Generation Advanced Algebra Functions course, I'll leave a link in the description of this video. You can check that out uh, if you like. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up, and leave me some feedback. Let me know if you're, you know, taking this uh, AccuPlacer for the first time or the second time, or maybe you're taking another placement exam. There's other, other ones out there uh, like Alex, for example. They're all good, but they are kind of different in, in uh, various ways. And then there's other things out there like the CLEP exam that some of you may have heard of as well, where you, instead of placing into a particular um, course, you can, you, know, you can test out and get credits for what you know. That's a great program as well. So a lot of, lot of things that you need to kind of be, you know, informed about if you're, uh, which I'm assuming, if you're watching this video, you're probably entering into college, you know, your your first year of college. So there's a lot of different options and opportunities out there, but hopefully this video helps you out. So with that being said, thank you for your time and have a great day.